Hey church, I'm Colleen, and it's an honor to get to share with you today as we continue in the Gospel of Luke. Today we're gonna to be reading out of Luke chapter five, verses 12 through 13. Y'all, this is a favorite scripture of mine, but it is a very hard concept for me to just take in. And so as we share it today, let's wrestle through it together. Luke five, verses 12 through 13, let's read it. In one of the villages, Jesus met a man with an advanced case of leprosy. When the man saw Jesus, he bowed with his face to the ground, begging to be healed. Lord, he said, if you are willing, you can heal me and make me clean. Verse 13, Jesus reached out and touched him. I am willing, he said, be healed. And instantly the leprosy disappeared. Wow, what an amazing thought. You know, this, this was a very interesting moment, just an odd moment, because leprosy, an advanced case of leprosy, case of leprosy this was socially and theologically unacceptable for him to come into the presence of Jesus. But this man, I love the very first thing he did, is he bowed his face to the ground, begging to be healed. Before he made any request of the power of Jesus, he first acknowledged the person of Jesus. This man, he didn't ask anything before he first bowed and worshiped God. And I love this. I underlined it. If you'll underline it in your word, it says, Lord, if you are willing, you can. Today, we're wrestling two th through two thoughts. First, your ability and your willingness. If you are willing, you can. I love that statement because this man acknowledged that nothing is too hard for God. He knew who Jesus was and that his arm was not too short to save. He was never ever questioning his ability, but hoping for his willingness. You know, faith trusts that our God can, that he can. He can part the Red Sea. He can do whatever he wants to do, that he is able, that Jesus Christ has conquered death hell and the grave, nothing is impossible for those who believe. But the question we have is the hope of his willingness. You know, I think about as a mom, and even when I was a kid, I used to say this to my dad all the time, and that's where I got it from. We'd say, hey dad, can you go get me milk? And he'd say, I can. And I would say, okay, dad, would you please, will you please go get me milk? You know, I think about my kids today, they'll say, mom, can we do this? I'd say, we can. And then they'd say, mom, will we get to do this? And I'd say, we will. But sometimes I say, we will in a minute, or we will after a little while. Oh man, that deferred just hope, you know? But I think about our, our ability versus our willingness. We first have to trust that God is able. Do you believe today that our God is able? He is able, whatever situation you're walking through, whatever circumstances in life, He is able to heal, to restore, to redeem, to take care of, to solve, to whatever it is that you're walking through, that he is able. The question is, will he? But we have to trust that he will in his way and in his time, that he will wipe every tear from our eye, that he will, that there will come that day. So we know that he can and we trust that he will. I think about the men in the fiery furnace in Daniel 3. Verse 17, 16 and 17, he says, we don't need to defend ourselves. If we are thrown into the blazing furnace, the God whom we serve is able to save us. He will rescue us from your power, your majesty. But even if he doesn't, God is able, but, and he will. But even if he doesn't, even if he doesn't today or tomorrow or the next day, that there will come the day that we have no more mourning, no more pain, no more sorrow, that there comes a day that everything that he is able to do, he will do. And so we can trust that today. And I wanna encourage you in that. You know, I think about what Pastor Terry always says, that we submit our prayers in faith and we surrender them in trust. Whatever you're walking through today, let us know that our God can, and that one day, maybe it's today, maybe it's tomorrow, maybe it's in the hope of eternity, but our God will. He is able and he is willing. Bring your request to him. Ask him like a loving father. Can you? You can. I know you can. Will you? As your daughter, as your son, we bring these requests to you. Thank you so much. I hope you have a great day and we'll see you this Sunday.